The ordination and installation of Bishop-elect Earl Fernandez as the 13th Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Columbus. NBC4's Audrey Hassan joins us live from outside of St. Paul's Catholic Church in Westerville as that ceremony is still underway. Audrey? Jennifer, good afternoon. There was a lot of excitement here among the Catholic faithful at St. Paul's in Westerville as they got ready to enter the ceremony, which got underway here at 2 o'clock this afternoon, but it is expected to last around three hours as Bishop-elect Fernandez will become the 13th Bishop here in the Diocese of Columbus. Now let's give you a look inside the ceremony of the church from earlier. The Bishop's elect ordination and installation is historic. He is the first person of color to be Bishop here in Central Ohio and the first Indian American Bishop in the United States. His parents immigrated from India, settling here in Toledo, Ohio. We're told close to 1,400 people are here, including 200 priests, 60 deacons, and 36 bishops, including former Bishop of Columbus, Robert Brennan. Before the ceremony, I as he's had many conversations with Bishop-elect Fernandez, who officially moved in at St. Joseph's Cathedral downtown a week ago. But we've had a chance to talk to him quite a bit, so he's, he's, a, he's a terrific uh, leader, a fun guy to talk to, very, very knowledgeable, um, one of the smartest people I've ever met, but a deeply caring uh, bishop too. So we uh, uh, really have received a real gift here. Bishop-elect Fernandez will now lead close to 300 Catholics here in Ohio, over 23 counties. Governor Mike DeWine and his wife Fran are also in attendance today, and we will have much more from this historic ordination coming up on NBC4 at 5. But for now, live and local for you at St. Paul's in Westerville, Audrey Hassan, NBC4.